Now, when you're editing the tones of a patch, you must be aware of the structure of the tones. It's possible to change the way the tones work together. Let's have a look. F1, common, F3, structure. And the display shows two diagrams. Now, the tones are grouped. Tones one and two follow this structure. Tones three and four follow this structure. And at the moment, they're both set to the same, the most simple structure available. But there are 10 structures to choose from. And by rotating the dial here, I can call them up. OK, well, really what we have here is different wirings for the two tones. And various options are available. For example, this one here combines two filters and puts them in series, which means we can overemphasize the filter effect, giving a very, very strong filter characteristic. Over here, we see a structure that uses a booster. The little B there stands for booster, and we can use this for creating distortion effects. Great on guitar and uh, organ. Here we have another structure. Structure 5 uses what's known as ring modulation. This can be introduced and can produce all sorts of weird harmonics that are reminiscent of metallic sounds or bell-like sounds. OK? And then various wiring options for those components. And over here, exactly the same thing can be done with tones 3 and 4. So when you're programming, bear in mind that wiring the tones up in a different way can give you completely different results.